Hey everyone, today is June 25th, 2022, and we're here to get an update of the Lake Drain Culvert. They've been unclogging it. Look at this. I don't know what happened here. Maybe someone smashed and crashed into this tree. It doesn't look like this was taken down nicely. But look at this big pile of beaver debris they got out. That's a massive pile they unclogged from the lake drain. There's another giant pile right there that's very fresh. But if you think that's something, there's a third pile and a massive fourth pile. The DOT is cracking down on these beavers. They are not allowed to relocate them. They are not allowed to hunt them because this pond is private property. The DOT only owns about 20 feet into it. The rest of this is owned by a private LLC. It's a beautiful property. In fact, this lake and this plot of land here is for sale. The plot of land is low-lying. If you wanted to build something with a basement or minimize your risk of flooding, it would have to be raised with a lot of loads of dirt. But look what the DOT did. They put this fence up. Maybe Fish and Game did that. That's a good idea because, look, the beavers can build against that. Also, there's not much current there, so the beavers may not even build against that. But look at all the debris and sludge getting stuck on it. Eventually, they're going to have to do maintenance, but this is really going to help. Look at the debris on the rack. You know what that's from? The guys were manually down there. I can tell. See how the hatch is clean? They were throwing it up on here. Probably had another guy moving it out. Yeah, wow. They actually finally did something about the lake terrain. And by the look of how much this is dried up, how some of the plants are still crushed down and not even really dead, this must be very, very recent. Oh my gosh, it's our friend the beaver! It's our friend! Yay! Awesome. I love this place. Look at this. So many people you can tell walk here to get around this thing. Oh wow. They might have an underwater beaver deceiver which is a T structure with underlying holes. Yeah, right here, see? In case they build a dam, there might be a beaver deceiver under here. So if they do jam this up, water can still seep through that culvert pipe. There might be a structure down there. Maybe not. Look, there is some movement here. What is it, a beaver or current entering the beaver receiver? This is a beautiful place. Take a look at this. All these lily pads are about to flower in the next day or so. They're very close. They may have flowered today, they may have already closed for the day, but our friend, the beaver, is already on his way out. Awesome. This thing's in pretty good shape. Look down in the bottom. Wow, this water must be bath... This is gonna be like bath water. Definitely, probably like bath water. I can feel it's so warm and humid down here. This pond is pretty stagnant, not much flow. If it wasn't for a lot of leeches and stuff, I bet this would be a good place to sleep. I mean, swim. Beavers are highly unlikely to attack you, although they will give you threats by slapping their tail. I would probably have no problem swimming here since it's such a big pond, other than the fear of possibly getting leeches on me. I'm not really afraid of them, it's just they cause a lot of bleeding as they give you an anticoagulant. Um, yeah. Since it's such a big pond, I would not be uh, concerned about a beaver attack. Let's say it was like a tenth of size, I'd be more concerned because that they get more territorial when they have a smaller pond. But I'm very happy to see this. I can tell by the water line over on these rocks right above the old lake drain, this water was about a foot higher before they did this. The dam must have been getting pretty bad on the side. Let's see for water marks. Yes, you see where it was. There was a small dam, nothing hazardous. This thing's designed, it can pour in through the top if really needed. Now, that being said, this is all good, but I bet the pipeline underneath still has some damage. Remember, we went in there, you could see the water table was squeezing through a few of the joints. Because the kind of culvert they use, the joints, it's made to stop pressure from inside the pipe from getting out but the pressure from it being under the pond, under right here, especially the first couple sections leading really close to the bank. There was water spraying out of the cracks, which over time may cause erosion. 
I don't think there's any risk of a massive sinkhole, at least not anywhere super important. I don't think it's going to happen under the road. It's The majority of it's in the first part of the pipeline. We've shown that in previous videos, and they have yet to ever rip it up. I think them using plastic for this project was a super uh, stupid thing to do. They probably should have used reinforced concrete or steel. Reinforced concrete probably would have lasted the longest in this situation. Um, corrugated steel probably would have had a 50 year lifespan or so. Or they could have pushed it from neglect like the old one right here was installed in the 1960s and it only failed a few years back. Yep, this is our old lake drain. Check it out. All filled in with flowable concrete. Got a little bit of oil on the surface. Nice. So they ended up putting the new one in with polyethylene plastic culvert, which is fine if it's deep enough. It can hold up to about 70 years. The thing is, this is not very deep and it doesn't appear that it was compacted correctly. Since they installed it, the whole thing inside was like an oval, so the joints don't correctly fit together since everyone's not crushed exactly the same. And that's why water's spraying out. But the most recent time we looked in there, it kind of looked like the holes were starting to get plugged on their own. So other than it's starting to sag, I think it's gonna be many years before it actually starts to cause a problem. I hope today's update was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.